moving into the ACC, a team that I was high on just a year ago, and, and, and they they beat some teams they should not have beaten last year. They lost some games they should have lost, right, obviously. But that's the reality of, you know, a, maybe a mid-tier program in the ACC, Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is just a super, super explosive team with, with a ton of playmakers offensively. And obviously, you know, Brent Key does some real good things, which I've liked recently. But the reality of it is you're just going to have opportunities to crush some dreams. That That's where this one really comes. That's where I get really excited for Georgia's Tech is because you're playing Florida State. You're playing Notre Dame. You're playing Va Tech, who people like in the ACC. You're playing Miami. You're playing NC State. And you finish the year with Georgia. Now, now first of all, that's a gone. We've talked about Georgia Tech. We, if you go check their schedule out, we did a video on that. It's nuts. Um, it's yeah. Th- this is about as tough as it gets. And obviously, supplement that was at Syracuse, at North Carolina, Duke, whatever you want to say that. But Florida State, by the way, is in Dublin. What did you guys realize that a week zero game? We could have an awesome, awesome matchup in week zero, first time in a long time. And then obviously. I didn't even mention Louisville. Louisville won 10 games just a year ago. They're on the schedule as well. Notre Dame is at home. I believe that's at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which is not at necessarily Bobby Dodd, but it's also in Atlanta there. You'll have a huge home field advantage. Uh, and Chick-fil-A will be open in that stadium, which is pretty dope for, for our Atlanta fans. Yeah. What say you, Matthew? You know what tough schedule translates to? Lots of opportunity to bust the bubble of some playoff contending teams. Yeah. Yeah, and also, you're going to get to November, and maybe you're not going to have the record you think you are that reflects your team. And what's the number one rule in college football? Is that your, record your record is pretty misleading. Is, yeah. You're not what your record says you are. Exactly. And so if you're NC State, if you're Miami, who's famous for choking games, losing games you shouldn't, if you're Georgia even, right, you're going to have a massive talent, talent gap in those games. But here's Georgia Tech. Here's Brent Key looking to burst your bubble. Yeah. Yeah, man. Anything, anything else to add for us? Not really. I think you kind of nailed it. I mean, just Haynes King at quarterback feels like he could just win a game on accident. Or lose should, a game. They should have. Well, yeah, or lose a game. Like, yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's that's the ebbs and flows of being a playoff buster. You know, it's like you're, you're gonna you're gonna drop one to Bowling Green, and then all of a sudden you're gonna come out and be Miami. That's what you're gonna do. You know, and they got some real pieces. I I love Eric Singleton, and now obviously he had some games he wishes he would have had back a year ago. But he was just a freshman, and he really started putting it together. And I, yeah, to me this is you just a dangerous, dangerous football team. 